Hey everybody and welcome to our next tutorial or maybe it's your first tutorial with me. No one knows. Um, for Weebly. Now you may notice of course um, that I'm starting off on my homepage. Why? Because again I am super proud of it man. Do you have your own web page? Do you? Do you? Actually, you kind of will by the time we're done. Uh, so anyway, MrsClemens.com. Um, so what you're going to do uh, for us is you're going to slide on over to psychology because that's the course we're talking about. What you're going to notice is I've got a bunch of links or a bunch of pictures um, that are linked on the side here. And so what you're going to do is um, if you don't want to sit around and have to memorize uh, the link to get into Weebly is you're just gonna click on the picture. Oh my gosh, you're gonna sign in. Now, I gave you a little sheet of paper and you're going to use the username and password to sign in. Now, my BFF from last school year is um, Anthony and Anthony, um, without even knowing it, is going to help me out here. So, um, we're gonna type in, oh my gosh, I already typed it in today. Um, Anthony's little thing here and I'm going to type in the password and we're going to log in. Yay. All right. So um, where we're at, the first thing that I want you guys to do now, I'm not sure that yours is actually going to come up on this. What yours might actually come up with is a thing that's telling you to create a subdomain and you can either do that right then. Um, or in a bit, but what you definitely need to do is go into account settings and you need to change your password. Now, um, I'm going to change, or I'm not going to change Anthony's password. Um, he's going to do that. But um, in the meantime, or maybe I will change it, haha, <laughs> Anthony. Um, but anyway, you're gonna go into your site. Oh, actually, some of you guys, it might actually say create a site. I think this is probably what yours is going to end up coming up with first. So what you would do is you can go in and you can start typing something. So let's say, so let's say he's like, oh, I want to just do Anthony, um, and it would come out to be at Weebly.com. That's taken, and so you could come up with like um, all kinds of different things you want to do. I would do this first and just get done. But if you want to put it off, you can put it off. But by, you know, if you're doing your choose your own adventure and technology thing, before you can do anything else, before you can actually get checked off for the assignment, you have to do this because I need to have your web address. So what you're going to do is you've got your site and it's really, really awesome, I have to say. So um, it's just so easy to use. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go to design and um, you can change your theme and it's so awesome because there are just all kinds of different themes. You can sort by popular, newest, recently used. You can search for different styles. So if you're like, oh, I want something that's fun, you know, you can, um, you know, do something with the colors or, um, I don't know. I like this one cause I'm girly. Um, you know, so what is there? There's fun there's bold um you know if you like kind of the dark or whatever um you can sort by um sleek there's all kinds of different ones um let's see if i know anthony and i do i'm gonna go with unique um and um hey uh anthony hmm 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 all right this seems boyish um, I'm going to, and you could preview it, you could change the colors, the color scheme, but I like the blue, and so we're going to choose this one. So now what will happen is um, he will have this. And so what the next thing you need to do is you need to choose a name. And so let's say that Anthony chooses it to be Anthony, and Anthony is cool. I don't know, he can make it be whatever he wants it to be. Um, but for right now, we're going to choose Anthony is cool because he is, I love you. Um, <laughs> and so now you've done that part, you've created your name um, and you've done your theme. And then the next thing I ask you guys to do is create two different pages. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to pages and you are going to add a page. Now I say to you, 
um, that you've got to make a home page and a blog page. Check this out, guys. You already have your home page done. Um, you can change the layout a little bit. So if you want it to be the landing page, it can look different. So like we, we can make that be the, the landing page and we can hit save and edit um, so that it looks a little bit different. Um, the other page that you need to do, and remember, we're not, you know, we're not, this is free, so you get five pages here. So we're gonna go add page and we want a blog page. And so the page name is blog. Um, and let's say you want no header or you want a short header. So what you're gonna do is save and edit. And so now you have this. So it's super duper easy to do this. Now, as we go along, you're going to actually change this and you're gonna put, you know, about me, you know, um, here, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, like Anthony might put, um, you know, his life changed by having Mrs. Clemens as a US history teacher. Without her, life would mean nothing. He might also talk about football. Um, and so when you're going to do new posts, it's really easy. You just click new post and you put whatever the title is and it can be Mrs. Clemens is awesome, which I am. And then let's say he wants to actually have text here. All he has to do is pull, drag and pull. And it's really cool the different options that you have. So he doesn't need a title because he already has it, but he could do text, he could do image with text, he could just have a picture, he could do slideshow, he could do maps. Um, and let's kind of stick with that for the blog thing. So the text he can do right here and his text that he can have is, um, uh, U.S. History and Psychology, because he has me for both. Rock. All right, so now, and you can do different text editing things. You can add links. So um, let's say he wanted to do a link to my website. He could just go and he could just highlight, add a link. And here you could decide whether you want to open a new window. I always choose that, so you keep, make them keep the other window open. Um, you can make tags for it, so like if you're talking about psych, uh, like whatever kind of different category it is, if you're talking about introduction stuff, or if you're talking about um, uh, senses or if you're talking about abnormal whatever um, you can save it to drafts so that you can look at it later and do it or you could publish it live and so of course we want to publish it live actually we're not going to publish it live because um, I don't want Anthony to be stuck with um, a domain name so we're actually going to X out of that and so we'll just save it to drafts Oh, nice. Um, again, we could go back to um, up here. We go back to home, and there's all kinds of stuff that you guys can do, um, you know, which is so freaking cool. Um, now, any of the things with the stars you can't do unless you pay, we're not paying. Um, but you can add files, you can embed things, and we're going to be talking about that. Um, just all kinds of niftiness. Now, one of the things that I want to show you guys is how this is actually going to be looking. So I said you can click here to um, get to my blog. And so this is going to be our blog role. And what you're going to do is you're going to email me what your URL is. So at this point, sorry to go back to Anthony, he doesn't have it yet because he hasn't published. And he hasn't published because I don't want to choose a URL for him. By the way, you can edit images and whatever. So just because he chooses this as a background does not mean he has to have weird shoot him up dude. But um, anyway, so what you're going to do is once you email that to me. So now Anthony's got to be somewhere here. He'll um, email that to me. What I'll do is I'll add the link and you'll be able to see everybody's blog posts. And so just to kind of show you what mine looks like so far is, um, you know, that what I did 
is I chose to have a picture up on top, uh, Rorschach ink blot, and you know I've got my welcome to class, I've got my about me. Um, the archives automatically fill up and the categories as you add them automatically fill up, so I don't need to do anything with that. And so I have my thing, and obviously you know I've got a link on there, I've got my picture, and so it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, so I'll be using this as we go to kind of um, add different resources about the, th the things that we're talking about. And so this is my homepage, and you could be very minimalist with your homepage. Um, you know, I chose one that happened to have a button, which is cool. Um, in terms of you, can you guys add a button? I'm thinking no. <laughs> uh, you might want to choose one that has one. Uh, and it's just really, really cool, all the different things that you can do. You can always change your theme if you want to. You can add, like I said, up to five pages. And in terms of sit settings, um, the things that you can do is you can make it so that, um, you know, if people are using it on their phone, that they can, um, you know, easily see stuff. Uh, last thing to say is that there is an app for Weebly that you can go to and um, so if you want to have it on your smartphone you can edit it there all the time and in the end like I said to publish you just you click here to publish again it's not gonna let you publish until you do that and you're gonna email that to me and anytime you want to get back to your home page you go to those lines go to exit editor and here you go. And so now his thing says Anthony is cool. I need to change that. All right, guys, I hope that this makes this a little bit easier for you to understand. It's so easy.